Just because you can't see something in your physical world does not mean you don't have it right now. Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the common misconception that your desires are in the future or that you are imagining your future and that you don't have your desires right now. So what I want to talk about in this video, if you haven't watched my other videos, um, especially the one on the present moment, I would recommend watching that one. But we're kind of continuing on from that. So when I talk about the present moment, that is the only moment that there is. There is no past and there is no future. And the reason that is, is because we live in this physical world that is a manifestation of everything in imagination. And in imagination, everything exists all at once. You can think of anything right now, right? Like you can have any thought right now, you can think of anything right now, and it comes up immediately. There's no time delay in imagination because really everything is happening at once. We just live in this reality where we assume that there is time because we live in this world where it looks like things are happen happening linearly, but they are not. We are not actually moving through time, we are just having things move through us more so. So every second is, it's like you're choosing a different reality. Every second we are just shifting into another reality. You're not consistently moving through just one reality. You're constantly shifting every second, whether you know it or not, whether you're trying to or not. We manifest everything. So you're always moving through different realities. And I talked about it in my last video, like a flip book. So imagine yourself as a flip book character and you're moving the pages so fast that it starts to look like it's actually time, that things are actually moving. But in reality, you're just shifting through different realities. That's all that's going on here. So what's so exciting to know about this is that you're living moment to moment. So that means that in any moment, you can choose a different reality. You do not have to choose the one you're living in. That also means that you are not your past and you are not the things coming up in your future. You have no future, you have no past. I know not having a past sounds okay, <laughs> but not having future may not sound so pleasant. But the thing really is, is that we only have the present moment. So when you think something is off in the future, you're really just imagining it further away from yourself. But really everything that you imagine, when you're imagining something and it seems like it's off in the future, that thing is actually happening right now. Because again, imagination, everything is happening at once. So that thing that you think is in the future for you is actually happening right now. When you're imagining that, that version of yourself, that's you right now. That's not you in the future, that's you right now. I hope this is making sense because this was the thing that really changed everything for me is realizing that your desires are not far off away from you. They're not far away. As soon as you imagine something, that is happening right now. That is you right now, okay? What this also means is that you do not have to base your current assumption off any past assumption. What you felt a second ago doesn't matter. What you did yesterday doesn't matter. If you're focusing on that, you're just gonna bring that same thing back into your reality if it's something you didn't like that you did in the past, or maybe you always feel like you've been trying to manifest for so long and it never works out for you. If you keep that assumption, that's gonna be what you keep experiencing. So realize that all it takes is one new assumption to change everything because you get to choose every moment. How amazing is that? You get to choose every moment. You don't have to stay in any particular reality. And it's so easy to decide something new. People think that manifesting is hard, but really the moment that you assume something new, you are already that person. That is already you. That's how simple it is. It's just the belief that that's true is what's hard for us. We don't believe it because we can't see it right away. So what I wanna say again in this video is that even if you can't see it in your physical world, it does not mean that you don't already have it, okay? So when you're visualizing something in your imagination, say, I'm, I want to say that I make $10,000 a day. I make $10,000 a day and I'm saying that to myself 
and I feel like, you know, it's such a far off thing, like eventually I'll be able to make that much, one day I'm gonna make that much if I keep affirming for it, one day I'll make that much, but that's not the way you wanna think of it. You wanna think of it like, right now, when I say I make $10,000 a day, and I'm hearing my voice in my head say that, or I'm seeing myself, I'm seeing a number on a screen, or I'm seeing, you know, some idea of me having that, you know, whatever your visualization is to represent you having that. You see it in your imagination right now, and you realize that that's not you in the future. That's not you however long from now. That is you right now. So when you say I have, or I make $10,000 a day, you're making that right now. You may not see it in this physical world, but there's a version of you right now in this moment that makes that much money. And when you say I make $10,000 a day, you are becoming that version of you in this exact moment. So when you say I make $10,000 a day, you really do make $10,000 a day. Like that assumption becomes true immediately when you say it. It's just the reason that you believe that it's not true is because you don't see it right away in this physical world. But what you have to realize is that imagination is just as real as the physical world, if not more real. So when you say it in imagination, look at it in imagination, visualize it in imagination, that is real. Think of it like an extension of reality. Like imagination is just as real as this reality. So when you see it there, when you see that you have it there, feel how good that feels because that is real. Remind yourself that is real. You need to tell yourself that every day. Imagination is real. I said this in another video, but when you can understand that and you can kind of like blur the lines between reality and imagination and start thinking of it all at, as one, as one thing, as just like a continuation of itself. Like if you think of when you close your eyes and imagine something just as real as if you were to see it right now in your reality, that's gonna be so powerful. Like just trust me on this. If you can like grasp that concept, if you can see that reality is just as real as this, then it will be so much easier to manifest things because you can feel that you already have that $10,000. Because again, there's only the present moment only the present moment exists. So when you say I make $10,000 a day, you are making $10,000 a day in that moment that you said that. And you can close your eyes and you can see it. You can see that that's true. And what you're seeing when you close your eyes, when you go into imagination is literally just another reality. You're just not in that one in the physical world yet. It just hasn't manifested in the physical world yet, but that's just another reality where you exist and you have that thing. So if you persist in that reality in imagination, realizing that that is a real reality that you are viewing. Um, there's a man on YouTube, I can't remember his name. He talks about this so well, but I'll put his name down in the description box if I can find him, but he talks about um, remote viewing. If you've ever heard of that, it's kind of like um, someone closes their eyes and they can sort of picture uh, where someone is. I don't know. You can look into CIA documents about remote viewing if you want to learn more about that topic, but essentially you are remote viewing literally just another reality. So it's just as real as this one. It just isn't in the physical form yet because you haven't persisted in it long enough. But when you persist in it long enough, it will become the one that you're experiencing in the physical world as well. So just realize an imagination any reality that you can see is just as real as this reality. It's just you haven't chosen it to be the one that you're living in physically yet. And to choose it is simply to continue to persist in that reality until it becomes the one that you're experiencing in the physical world. So to persist in it, again, it's simply going into imagination. And again, I hate even calling it imagination. It's not really even imagination. It's just viewing that reality and living in it, experiencing it, experiencing it inside your mind until it becomes the one that you're living in the physical world. And you can do that again by affirming or you can do it by visualizing. And when I say visualize or affirm in the present moment, like in my last video, it really means feel it as if that is what you are living right now. As in, make it so normal to you. When you say that thing or you visualize that thing, 
make it as real as this reality. Realize that when you say that thing, you are that thing. You are not putting it off in the future. You immediately are that thing that you say. And it's just because you can't see it that you don't think it's real. But if you persist in it, it will also show up in the physical world. Okay? When you're seeing it in imagination, it's it's basically like you getting a preview of what you'll experience if you persist in that reality. Because again, you're remote viewing a real reality. It's just like if you were um, that person that is rich, that does make a thousand or $10,000 a day, and then you're viewing yourself in imagination in another reality where you don't actually make that much. You know, like it could go either way. It's like, because once that becomes your new reality, now you can visualize yourself back in another reality where you're poor and you don't make that much, right? And if you persist in that, that'll happen again. So every reality is real. It just hasn't been manifested yet into the physical world, but it's just as real as this reality. Does that make sense? Like every reality you see in imagination Stop thinking of it like it's imaginary. It's just an unmanifested reality. And when you affirm for something in imagination, again, it's the same thing. You're saying, I am this thing. And you are that thing immediately. There's no time delay. There's no wait. You are that thing right away. Is happening now. And if you feel it now, that's so much more important. Feel it now. Do not feel like your manifestations are off in the future, that they're far away feel it in this moment realize when you say i am rich you are rich you are that version of you right now not in the future don't put it in the future don't think of it in the future when you're imagining it imagine yourself as that right now feel how good it feels to know that that thing is yours right now it literally is yours <laughs> it's not yours you know two weeks from now or whatever it might manifest in two weeks from now. It might manifest in this physical world in that time. But this whole time, you've had it. Because imagination is just the unmanifested realities of the unmanifested everything that you already have. You're just accessing it. It's like a tool. When you access imagination, it's literally just a tool to see all of the realities available to you and to select which one you would like to live in next. And then you persist in that reality so that it manifests in the physical world. That's literally all it is. Imagination is like a tool to just select the reality you want to live in next. It's not that complicated, but we make it really complicated. So basically all I can say is just try to blur the line between imagination and reality and realize that Regardless, if you can't see it in this reality, it does not matter because this reality is just you selecting one experience out of the many that you already have to, well, experience in the physical world. All you're doing is just selecting which one you want to manifest in the physical, but you already have every reality. You have the one you're living in right now just as much as you have any of the other ones in imagination. You're just persisting in the one you're living in right now, which is why you're experiencing it in the physical but you get to decide and also you get to decide every single moment. You can change at any moment. And so that's why when you continuously select one reality, that means like when people robotically affirm or, you know, they visualize something over and over, that's just them selecting that reality enough times to where it becomes the one that manifests in the physical world. That's all it is. But no matter what, you already have that desired reality. It's already yours. It's just unmanifested. That's all it is. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Um, this concept honestly blew my mind. I feel like this concept changed my life in the most positive way out of like everything that I could talk about here. So more than anything, give imagination the same importance as you give anything in this reality. Anything you have in this reality, think of it just as equal to anything you have in imagination. It is just as equal, is just as strong or powerful. Except for what you have in imagination is going to be what you manifest next. So that's almost more important than what you have out here. So realize that what you have in imagination is more powerful than anything you have out here. And if you can see it in imagination, it is yours already. You already have it. It is not far away from you. It is yours right now. In this moment, you just need to persist in what you want. What do you want to experience next? Select it in imagination view it more times than you view your current reality as in spend more time in imagination or affirm more for it 
and realize when you are affirming, once again, be very present when you say your affirmations because there is only the present moment. Say it as if it is right now, as if you have that thing right now and you are that person right now and feel it to be true because it is the truth. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to end this video here, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Right? Bye.